Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Bellers video. And today, guys, we are going to be playing every single summer map that came out during the summer season in Bell Wars in 2024. And I hope you guys are doing well, enjoying your summer and everything. And when I was just looking at Bell Wars maps, I saw that there were three maps added to Bell Wars as the summer special maps. And I thought that it would be fun to showcase all of them. Now, I think some of them might have been used before in previous summer seasons, because I know Skywars did the same thing and kind of used their own. Also, that person just fell into the void. That was pretty funny there. But I know Skywars did like a similar thing with Bellwars, bringing like summer maps. So these are probably maps you guys have seen before, but I still wanted to showcase them anyway, because they're only going to be around during the summer season. And we did take out that person pretty nicely. And the first map we are on, let me see, slash map, it's called Fruitball. And I thought that it would be pretty fitting to use the Fruitful Texture Pack on Fruitball. And this map looks absolutely beautiful with this pack. I highly recommend it. I don't know if I'll remember to leave it in the description or not, but I definitely highly recommend it. Another reason why I'm making this video is because I'm currently editing a video called Beating Every Bellwars Challenge Part 2. And if you guys have seen Part 1 already, you guys have a pretty good idea of what that video will be about. But it's definitely going to take me a lot more time to edit. And I did want to give you guys just a quick little video just chilling on these new Bellwars maps while I'm still editing that video. Because I would like to post a lot more videos during the summer. At least that's going to be my goal on a, ver a variety of different games, not just Minecraft, probably other games that I enjoy you guys will see around as I have been doing like weekly live streams and stuff on random games already. We do have nine emeralds and three diamonds, so I'm definitely gonna get prop, minor fatigue, and we already bought sharpness, and I'm probably gonna get some diamond armor because even though it's not like the best or anything, I feel like since this map is just so huge from what I'm noticing, I think it's gonna be good to have. And I think I'm gonna get I think I'm going to get a speed pot, a jump pot, and a bridge egg. I'm not going to get invis because I feel like this map is just way too big. So, oh, we also have a player right here. He's trying to get to our bed. Okay. Did he die? He did not die. How did you survive? Okay, we're putting all my pots right here. And then we'll take him out. There we go. Um, is he in? Yeah, he's in one of those interesting spots. Bye, there we go. And we didn't even fall into the void so I could get everything back. I did not realize he was the final, honestly, until he started finding me So. I don't think that was the best play for him to be reckless and jump in, but I think his goal was to try and break my bed there. Mainly because all the M's were kind of taken by me, so he didn't he probably didn't want to wait the whole cycle for like new ones. Also, guys, look at this random flying person. I feel like I've been seeing so many of these in Bell Wars lately, and I don't know if it's like a glitch or if they added that intentionally. If someone definitely knows about that, please let me know down below in the comments because I would really, I'm really curious to know why I always see that in like every Bedwars game. I see it in all modes too, not just solo. I see it in like doubles, threes, and fours. So I would, I would be very curious to know. <laughs> that person said no in the chat. That's so funny. I think I'm actually gonna join this train and just go for green here since pink is also joining. Although Pink died very easily there. I don't think this person probably has blocks since he did just die. So we're just going to tower and make sure that I am safe. Eat our gapple and we're just going to destroy his bed really quick. I could probably finish him here I would like to think. I mean he's not too stacked. He just has a stone sword with no protection or anything. But he did have a lot of stuff in his each as six emeralds. That's definitely a lot to work with. We're going to get full pots, a bridge egg. We'll even get a bow. I don't know, guys. I've been getting a bow, like, literally, I feel like in every Bedwars game I play now for some reason. Because it's just so fun to have. And I feel like it just resonates me at this point with all, like, the shot em, like, memes I have on, like, shorts and stuff. This person's going to probably go after me here. Oh, gosh. Shot him. 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 I just love using the bow. I think it's so overpowered and I won't lie. It's definitely annoying But like sometimes when you have to go get those crazy clutches You have to just pull out that bow and go crazy But now guys, it's just me versus pink and I think their base is over there Although I do not know where the player is there. He is he's just at his base chilling right there So we're just gonna pot everything up and then go straight for his base. All right pink. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are let's knock you off I don't even think that knocked you off. Okay, that's fine. Although, I'm going to try to just kill them on the spot with that fireball. If I did, that would be lovely. Let's break the bed. I did not kill them with that fireball, apparently, because they seem to be alive and well. 
So we could just use that bridge egg. I, I mean, I will run out of invids right now, but I will still have the other pots for another 10 seconds. So I should be able to kill this person. And it seems like they weren't even ready for me. So I should be able to take them out. They did get a nice hit right there. Okay, we still won the game. Very nice. I think this map is decent, but I don't really like that it's a slow gen because it is a slow gen map. But with the fruitful texture pack, I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful and definitely a perfect summer theme map, I would say. Alrighty, everybody, we are back in the next game and we are on the map Montipora. And it's another summer theme map for this video that we will be playing. So let's get stacked up and we're going to start rushing our opponent. On this map, it seems like you have two choices, kind of like slumber. You could either rush to your side or to the diamond gen, but the diamond gen definitely seems closer, in my opinion. Although, I don't know, this person did just pick up the diamonds. Can we combo them? Yes, we can. We're just going to drop the diamonds. I definitely should be able to break this bed in time. Um, yep, he's probably going to come out, which is fine. I'll play some blocks, hopefully get a combo on him. Okay, that was a good first hit. I am really low, though. And perfect. That was a perfect combo to finish him off. I'm going to go back for these diamonds and then we'll get some uh, protection and minor fatigue. Now, compared to Fruit Ball, this map is actually a fast gen map. So I think I already like this map a little bit more than Fruit Ball because it's just going to be more rush heavy than Fruit Ball. We're going to upgrade all our tools and get a bunch of blocks and we'll also get some iron armor right now. And if you guys take a look at the map, I mean, I think it looks beautiful. Again, Hypixel does an amazing job, that team, the design team with these maps. They always make it look very pretty. They do an excellent job with that. Now, not all of them have, like, the best layouts and stuff, which, I mean, that's going to happen. There's going to be some good maps and some bad maps. I definitely do think that the layout's pretty decent, especially this middle. It looks very pretty, very creative. Okay, so if we take a look at this, I'm actually at red's base right now, and blue is actually the base next to me, which is kind of funny. And he just shot his fireball, and it did quite a lot of damage, so I think I'm gonna go get a gapple. And we definitely got some gapples, but he's probably gonna be rushing in here. I mean, I will just fireball him down so I can at least fight him. Or knock him off, that's even better. I honestly want to save my pots for later, and since I know this person didn't go to buy anything, because I already see them rushing up... I probably will just save these spots for later and just tower up so I can't get knocked into the void. Okay, I, that was not my plan to jump down like that, but we'll just break the bed. And I should be able to take him out one hit. There we go. Okay, we have four diamonds, so I'm gonna get some sharpness. And we can also get an iron sword with that. I don't think I'm gonna get a bonus game. I think I'm gonna stack up on gaps instead. Pink sped was just destroyed by Aqua, but it seems like Aqua lost the fight. So I think I'm gonna go for probably pink here because they are a final. I'm gonna drink these potions right now. And pink is just bridging. I should be able to hit that fireball. Okay, no. Can I hit this one at least? Yes, I can. And they are out of the game. My invisibility is about to run off, so we're gonna have to get another one. And I am right next to this person's base. So I'm just going to each chest that diamond really quick and go straight for them. Although my jump and speed will be gone in a few seconds here, unfortunately. But I'll still have jump for an extra five seconds because I popped that last, I think. So should be able to just hippity hop over here. He doesn't have minor fatigue or anything. So I'm just going to knock this person off. Because he, he didn't even hear that I was... Okay. I thought he heard me. I, think I literally took some fall damage. That kind of was shocking. But we'll take out his bed. I should, be able, I should be able to win this game here. All right, sir. Final 1v1. I do not know how you didn't hear me when I was making so much noise. I might actually die, though. Never mind. I thought I was dead there because I think they had better protection, but they had a much worse sword. So still a fun win. I definitely like the layout of this map. It's definitely better than Fruit Bowl, in my opinion. So this one definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Now, everybody, we are on the last map of this video, which is going to be Retreat, and it is a fast gen, so it already gets some props for me. I mean, I know some people like slow gen more because they don't want to deal with fireballs, which is definitely a good argument. In my opinion, just from how I like to play Bowers, I think that fast gen is more fun to play, but I could definitely see the argument for both sides. All right, my opponent green there just fell off, so I'm just going to try to bridge to them as quick as possible. I already made it to build limit on accident, to be honest, but we're just going to head straight to green. He's climbing up this staircase. It was at this moment that he knew he messed up with no blocks, and he tried to suicide, and I was not even there, my friend. I do not know if that was the play. I think he should have definitely gotten some blocks. His bed is broken, so we're going to see. Is he going to be AFK? He is not going to be AFK, but I think we could win this. We just have to get a few more hits. One hit. There we go. Something I don't really like about this map is that the diamond gen is actually really far away from everything while the center's over there. 
And I always prefer when the diamond gen is closer to the center. So you have an incentive to actually go to mid. But on this map, the diamond gen is just chilling in a corner. And I do not like where it is. I mean, I think they did the same thing on like Adius or whatever that map is called. That came out during the Slumber Hotel update. And I really do despise that map and that layout. So this one's definitely not going to be my favorite one. I have a feeling. I'm going to shoot this fireball at white. See if I can hit it because I am going to break their bed. Okay, I was not anywhere near close, but we are going to break their bed. I also did decide to get a bow because this map seems like it's going to be a map where the layout seems very big and you're going to want like a lot of projectiles. And since I'm not the best with fireballs, I think the bow is going to be my play. White is at this base here, so we're going to be fighting them. Hopefully the bow does come in clutch. Here we go. Shot him. Shot him. Shot him. All right. Oh my goodness. They are comboing me. Shot him. Shot him. Shot him. Shot him. Shot him. They do not take knockback. All right, White's on their way to break my bed, which is kind of scary after all. We are going to have to try and kill them on this run. There we go. We did get them half a heart. Oh my goodness, that person did not want to take any knockback. And they left me the comment so bad, so I kind of appreciate that very much. But I won, you lost, so if I'm so bad, then doesn't that make you badder? <laughs> So the last two teams left are red and gray, and it seems like gray's bed was eliminated by red. So it's probably going to be down to me and red. And it kind of sucks because they are on the complete opposite side of the map. So I'm going to have to do a lot of running. Alrighty guys, after miles of running, we are at Red's base now. I'm gonna drop this emerald by the way, I do not want it, but we do have the player coming. I'm gonna eat this gap, got it ready. I do have my bow as well, so we're gonna see if I could get some shots. Shot him once. Can I shoot you again, boss? Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna have to fireball you off the map. And he did not fall off the map. There we go, now he did fall off the map. So we're gonna get his bed and probably win the game. I mean, if I die, I'll be so depressed because... I'm gonna have to do all that running you guys just saw again. But we are gonna take this guy out. Three hit combo. And can we end it off with the Canis? Alright, sir, I need you to let me end it off with the Canis. What are we doing? Alright, I'm gonna end it off with the fireball. <laughs> GG's guys. And that that this map is okay, but I think it's my least favorite out of the three, mainly because of the diamond gen positioning. Now, I, I guess it's kind of tied with Fruit Bowl because my problem with Fruit Bowl is just that. It's a slow gen map, but that map is fashion. It's just the diamond gen area is in the worst location. For my rankings from worst to best, it would be Retreat, then Fruit Ball, and then Montipora. And I'm going to have all the rankings on the screen right now, all the scores and everything. And this is just based on my opinion and for how I like to play Bad Wars, which is a map where the diamond gen is in a central position and it's a fashion map. And that's per that's honestly a big part of it and the middle obviously has to be decently laid down and not have a bunch of holes but i mean i wasn't able to experience the middle on the one retreat but the other two maps seemed okay but anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy my weird analysis of these three maps my next video is almost definitely going to be beating every single bed wars challenge part two which is definitely going to take me a lot of time to edit so I hope this video gets you guys excited for that video. And if you guys would like to see more videos on the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share the video around, follow my Twitter, join my Discord, follow my TikTok. And with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.